Roma is a very personal film for Alfonso Cuaron. So what were your first discussions like? Well, he called me. I was. Um, I have worked with him as a pro as a producer in some of the, my previous films. He called me and said, "We're going to do this film. Um, it's going to be very different to the f to the the processes that you're used to and I am used to." Um, the first thing is that I'm not going to share the script with you, um, <laughs> and that happened with the with the whole crew, uh, except I read it probably two weeks before we start shooting when we had all the big sets all basically ready. You know? um, he said, um, and we basically start long conversations about details of his life. You know? He said, it's a very personal film to me. Um, I've been trying to do this for 10 years. I was gathering the tools to make it. And uh, I want to do a very precise reproduction of that of Mexico City of 1970 and 71. Um, you know, uh, w what we we started with conversation talking about more details. It was like a sort of a reverse engineer. We didn't speak about how the house was or something, but it was. We started to talk about what would be, you know, what would they in the family, what do they have for dinner, what would they talk or if they watch television, with which toys they play with. And we started from that, adding conversation, uh, you know, uh, adding things to, during the conversation until we get some pictures of the actual house of Alfonso. Um, we start, on the same time, uh, we started a big research, a very intensive research of, you know, period research, which in this case was fantastic for me because, uh, you know, Roma is the name of a neighborhood, is the neighborhood where he grew up, is the neighborhood where I grew up to some years later, you know. Uh, um, and uh, so we started to look for research, obviously, in the classic uh, uh, ways, uh, in in the net or in books, but also we did a lot of research in our personal family photos. Uh, what, was, what we discovered that is that once you post uh, a picture is because you already filter a lot of them that had a lot of, let's say, mistakes. But those mistakes were great in order to put details on 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 the interior of the house or on on the custom design as well. Um, so that was the um, that was the starting point. Um, we knew that the, there was a lot of places uh, where the the personal story took place that were changed completely. You know, we had a big earthquake in in 85 mm -hmm. that really changed the, let's say, the face of uh, of the city. Um, there were um, a lot of buildings that in which we shot that were, um, or that th th there were a lot of buildings that that were in the story that were basically demolished after after the earthquake. Um, we knew that we had a house, uh, and that that house would have to stay on, dressed, and ready for a long period of time because uh, we shot in chronological order. Okay. The idea was not to, to sh again, the actors, in this case, the non-actors, no, the, the non-professional actors, uh, they, they didn't know what would happen in the scenes or where would the color characters go. So we kept, we built, well, we, we took this house, we scouted for many houses that had a structure similar to the house of Alfonso. Uh, and uh, we got one that were, the, 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 the premise was that, uh, that we could really modify it in a, big, in a big way because we really wanted to take it to, to what Alfonso remind of his own home. So, we got this house that was about to be demolished. That was uh, in, uh, so. So what we did is we reinforced basically the structure. We took out all the walls, and and changed all the surfaces, like all the tiles. Uh, but on the other side, we wanted to have not to go to a, in a studio. We wanted to have a house because it would have help the non-actors to feel. Like in a uh, real environment. In a real, real environment. The tiles were real tiles made with a technique. Uh, you know, we found um, um, craftsmen, 
a, a, an artisan that made these tiles uh, in the same fashion that 60 years ago. Uh, they basically, we reproduced the ones that were in Alfonso's house. Um, but also we knew that uh, it was, it would, we wanted to shoot in very specific ways. Um, so we, we needed certain technical things like some movable walls and, and things in the house. So basically we did a, a hybrid like uh, because we were in a, lo in a location, but then for example, all the walls of the second floor uh, we created slots on the on the rooftop, so the you know so the walls could go up and down and you turned it into like a set, uh, like a yeah. set. So it was a very interesting hybrid in between a real house and um, and um, and and a set. You know, uh, on the other side, we started to visit certain locations that we n knew, like for example, there's w our m big build or one of our biggest build was we built the whole street of Insurgentes, the one that, that it's oh, yeah. the big avenue in which they cross and go into the cinema. That was, a, um, that was built from scratch in, um, in, um, wow. in a back lot, you know, like, well, it was not even a back lot. We, put, we even put the asphalt on it. It was basically a, you know, a, a, a parking lot that was as asphalted, I don't know, like 50 years ago and it was all destroyed. So at the end, uh, all the facades, uh, you know, all the tram rails, uh, every sidewalk, all of that we built it there. Uh, we we built it from scratch. We transformed that in another um, big avenue, which has a very different look. Which is the one that the, there's a scene in which one of the character, the mother, will crash the car in yeah. between two trucks. That is, um, let's say, a rebuild of or a transformation of that same uh, street. We created a crossing across street. We changed the facades because uh, uh, in, in one of the um, one of the main avenues in Surgente is supposed to be the most modern part of the city, and uh, the other is more like a residential uh, avenue. So they had a completely uh, different approach. We wanted to talk about the colliding worlds in Mexico City. Um, which still we have right now, you know, you have the m very modern city and then you have, let's say, the historical um, downtown or the, which is, you know, which is really used by the people and it's bursting of energy or you have the slums, uh, which, um, which we basically created in, in um, because Nezahualcoyotl, which is the slum that we show and that we had a lot of reference and we basically took them, you know, we reproduced th that, uh, created all these, uh, um, you know, water channels and ponds and um, uh, um, that place now is, uh, it's, you know, uh, 50 years later is part of the modern city. Well, not the modern actually, but it's a, it's a well-built part of the city. So we had to go out to find the terrain with certain brick houses and we basically build the whole scene there. We mm -hmm. took the cannonball and, you know, all the political m meeting and... Yeah. Um, when you're working with a director with such a precise vision of every little detail in the movie, yes. does that make your job easier or harder? Well, I found, I found um, with, uh, with Alfonso, even he had some very concrete notes about, for example, furniture and... Um, it's his real like family's furniture. Right? Well, yeah. some yes, most most of them. Well, it's it's a combination. We try to find most of the original ones, but obviously, fifty years later, it's lost. So we use some what we could find. We restore some of them, and we reproduce some of other. And we add also, you know, from from our own research and from my own memory. So so um, you know, we talked a lot about. For example, brands. You know, like in the in normally when you do a period film, um, uh, when you do a film in general, you try to avoid not getting into legal problems with branding and all these kind of things. But at the end, if you see period f pictures, you know, all of this is part of the landscape. And so what we did, we 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 talked about what you know, which were the the the. Um, yeah, the brands that we used to eat or, you know, the commercials that we would hear or the jingles that we would hear, 
in, in and and then we'll we'll let's say we recreate the period um, objects, the period uh, items, um, in order to create that. And we had a legal a legal entourage trying to clear out all these brandings. Uh, but uh, but it was it was fun to do it. It was a lot of graphic design involved in, in this as well, you know? Was there anything you're unable to recreate? No, no, basically it was, I mean, what was our goal was as much as possible to shoot in the loca in the real locations what happened. But but as I said, we, we the, the, what brought us a little frustration, we, we were looking for for some uh, some of these locations where that they were not there or they were radically changed. Mm -hmm. So so basically we came with a solution, even building a street or or trying to find another location similar to, to that. But there was cert a lot of scenes that were shot in the actual locations where it happened, like um, like the reproduction the reproduction that we did of uh, of the Corpus Christi massacre, you know, where they were they w of the student massacre. It was done exactly in the same block that happened. Oh, wow. you know? and obviously the, the facades were were um, uh, were changed. We basically took the base. We changed a lot of them physically, and we complete the work with the following my design with uh, with digital tools. But uh, but we did a lot of physical. So we went into the um, into the building that has the point of view to towards the street, and it was a gym. We turned it into this um, furniture um, furniture uh, s store furniture yeah mm -hmm. store detail. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, you said you grew up in uh, the same city as well, so were you able to draw any of your own memories? I, absolutely, absolutely. It started with, in this dialogue, in this, let's say, conversations, very long conversations that I had with Alfonso, um, ba basically it was uh, a dialogue. I put mine as well, and we had a, we, we shared a lot of common memories too. Mm -hmm. And um, so it was a, it was a very, you know, it was a very rich process. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I had all my crew, um, you know, researching for, well, for, for images that would also bring things to the table. Mm -hmm. uh, so what are you working on next? Uh, I cannot it say, but it's <laughs> a film wonder. that it's happened in three or four countries, yes. Three or four, yes. all over the world. Yes. 